show you how to install My Memory Suite 9 and My Memory Suite 9 content on a Windows computer. I'm already signed into the MyMemories.com website, and I've clicked the My Downloads option, which brings me to here. I can see that I have My Memory Suite 9 full version already in my account, and I'm going to copy the product key, which is right here, and highlight it and press Control C on the keyboard that will copy it to memory for use later. I'm going to download the Windows 64-bit version because that's matches, uh, that matches my computer. If you have Windows 32, that's fine. Just download the Win32, and this is for Mac computers. So we'll just start by downloading Windows 64-bit. All right, now that I have downloaded the software, Windows has verified it, I'm going to choose Open and that's going to start the My Memories installer. I'm going to leave the settings on recommended, but if I did need to install this to a different hard drive or another location on my computer, I could choose advanced and go through those steps. I'm going to leave things as they are, accept the license agreement, and enter my information in here. And I copied the product key earlier, so I'm going to paste it in now. Control V is in Victor on the keyboard. That pastes the key in, so I don't have to retype it. Then the software is going to install uh, with a little base set of content. Now I'm going to close this window. This is a registration screen, and we've already got the software in our account, so no need to do that, so I'll close it. And I'm going to click the installer again down here at the bottom. So the installer's finished, and we can go ahead and run the software for the first time by leaving that box checked. OK, so we have My Memory Suite 9 open. And because I still need to install the content, I'm actually just going to go ahead and close the program and switch back to the website where I can download the additional content packs. Uh, so here we are on the website, and there are nine kits. Uh, we could just download these, um, you know, if we wanted holidays, we just download that. I want to download all the content so it's in there and ready when I want it. Uh, so the process is just download each zip file. You can start that one going, start the next, and so on until they're all queued up and ready. We can see from the list that those files are almost downloaded. OK, now that all the files are downloaded, I can switch back to my memory suite and import the content. So this is the starting point screen where I could start from a template designed from scratch, auto build an album or open existing, I'm actually going to skip this for now and just import the content. So I'm going to close the starting point screen and I'm going to head to the file menu. When I click file, I am going to choose import downloads. And then mine opened right up to my downloads list. Sometimes yours might not open to your downloads folder. Um, sometimes I've seen it open to documents. And so you may need to click the up folder button. Uh, and then locate your downloads, double-click it open. Uh, I also like to set the details view. So this is a long scrolling vertical list, and then I can also sort it by date modified. I'm going to click date modified once, click it again. Now the newest downloads are right at the top, and I can see that I have my nine kits here. So I'm just going to select the first one. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to select the last one and choose open. Software is going to go through and install. Uh, it's, it's pulling the content from the zips. It's going to load it into the right place in the software, and I'm going to get a confirmation message for each download showing me where it's been put in the software and if it was backgrounds, embellishments, or a template. Um, and I'll see that for each kit. So there's the first one, it was a holidays kit. Um, They're installing into the MM9 category. Uh, all of these will. But if they're regular kits, designers are going to set those categories. They might set, you know, Seasons Winter, or they might set Holidays Halloween, School, Sports, any number of categories. And that'll be displayed here as well as what type. So we can just click OK on each of the types. Now, 
Okay, so all nine kits are imported. Now I can start an album and show you how to access the content. I'm going to click the Create button here on the screen. I could also head up to File and choose New, um, either way. And then I'm going to design one from scratch. You could click here um, to start from a template, or as I mentioned earlier, auto build from a folder of images, open an existing. I'm going to just choose design. And I'm going to use a custom size down here, just a quick 12 by 12 with one page. And I'm going to dismiss the trim area. OK, so now the software is open. I'm going to go over here to the control panel on the right. You can use the gallery on the left. Um, or the buttons along the top to add content, or the control panel on the right. I prefer the control panel, so I'm just going to click backgrounds. I'm going to choose add, and you can see the category list. This is not expanded, so I only see purchased. I'm going to expand that. So now I have MM9, and if I click on each of these, they're going to load the various background papers that are available. The previews will load as you select each one. You can just choose an image to add. So I've set a background, and I'm going to open my embellishments. Same thing, I'm going to expand the purchase, expand Memory Suite 9, and uh, choose some wedding items here. I'm going to add that embellishment and this one. Close that. So now I was able to install the program, install the additional content, and access that content from within the program.